Hi there. Cheers to you. Cheers to Thursday. And it's actually not even Thursday. I am shooting this on a Wednesday um, because of an obligation tomorrow. And this isn't even a Facebook Live like it normally is because Facebook's like acting all funky. And so I pre-recorded this <laughs> on a Wednesday. We're just like all backwards today. But you know what? That deserves some wine. This wine is fantastic, by the way. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I don't know if that's gonna show up. There it is. Um, at the end of this Facebook Live, <laughs> air quotes. Um, but oh my God, it is so good. I really did not plan to drink wine tonight because it's a Wednesday and like I gotta keep myself in line somehow, but um, there's a special surprise and a reason why I am. And then I took a sip of it and I was like, oh man, it is too good. And speaking of spring break slim down, <laughs> not at all. Um, that's what we're talking about tonight. I am super excited about this topic. I've been thinking about it all week and I think I've got some really good tips for you. Hopefully not um, anything that you've heard a lot before. I feel like a lot of the spring break slim down tips are kind of like overdone and you're probably just like, yeah, ugh, stop already. Um, but okay, I'm Haley. I am the owner and founder of Basically It Meals. I have a degree in nutrition and exercise physiology from Mizzou and many years experience in nutrition education. And it truly is my passion, although I now help people who uh, don't have time to cook and don't know what to cook to be healthy. I solve that problem for them. Um, but it really is my passion to educate people and help them make step, take easy, simple steps in their life to have a healthier life and really um, live their best life and feel their best every single day. So that is the whole point of this Thursday night wine about it Facebook Live is to bring you simple educational um, tips, tricks, hacks so that you can implement these into your life. They're not like complicated or confusing. Um, really about like clearing the nutrition confusion. So spring break slim down is what we're all about tonight while I sip some wine on a Wednesday. <laughs> um, but my first tip, and I actually spoke about this in my uh, Instagram stories this morning. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to because I do a ton of content in my Instagram stories. So that is basically underscore it underscore. I'm on there live every single day bringing you um, real life, like in time, like tips, tricks, and hacks that I'm using myself. So that's an awesome place to get even more content. Um, but I talked about fasting cardio this morning and that to me sounds like kind of scary and really painful <laughs> and it really isn't. So essentially fasting cardio is, um, you know, getting your heart rate up on an empty stomach. And the best way to do this isn't by like starving yourself all day and then going for a run. It's just by waking up and using, you know, boosting your heart rate first thing in the morning before you've eaten anything. So before you've had coffee with cream and sugar in it, you really don't want anything in your stomach um, of caloric value. So water and tea and plain black coffee are fine. And that's what I do when I do fasted cardio. I'll, I'll make some green tea um, or just have some black coffee. I like a little caffeine uh, to get me through my cardio. But the other half of that is then the, you know, getting your heart rate up. and even that doesn't have to sound as painful as it sounds. <laughs> it doesn't have to be an intense run. It doesn't have to be a super crazy exercise class. It can literally be 10 minutes of you walking at a, at a quick pace around the block or around the track at your gym. It can be 10 minutes of you um, picking up some light weights and you know just working out your muscles like until you, you really feel like some heavy breathing coming on. Um, recommended is 20 minutes, but honestly, 10 minutes is going to get you really far if 20 minutes sounds too scary. So 10 to 20 minutes of raising your heart rate in the morning before you've had anything to eat is a fantastic way to get your metabolism like really on fire. And that's going to carry you through the entire 
for 24 hours. I mean, it's really incredible how that works and it really um, helps you to burn through the food that you're eating that day. Now that doesn't, because this is spring break slim down, that doesn't mean like go ahead and eat more food today. This means like you're cutting back on your, your food intake and you've got the fasted cardio that's helping you um, sustain that increased calorie burn for the rest of the day. Um, side note, although that's not one of my top three tips, green tea is a fantastic way to boost your metabolism as well. And trying matcha green tea, which is a powdered form where you actually ingest the whole plant as, as opposed to just steeping it, um, is just loaded with benefits, antioxidants. I could do a whole Facebook Live on just that. I haven't drank this much wine during a Facebook Live <laughs> for a while. This is just that good. I'm so excited to tell you guys about this. Um, okay, so we've got our fasted cardio. Yes, this is my pen <laughs> for my notes. Um, we've got our fasted cardio 10 to 20 minutes in the morning before you put anything in your stomach other than water. Um, and then this one's gonna be a little bit tough, but if you're thinking of this as spring break slim down and you're just doing this for the next 30 days or the next 20 days, um, really not eating anything that comes in a package is going to be huge. And that's for many different reasons. Um, anything in a package is likely to be higher in caloric value and lower in nutrient density. So I'm talking, um, you're up and down the aisles. So cereals, cookies, um, chips, crackers, all of those packaged processed foods that are really desirable but don't do much for us <laughs> are what we want to cut out. Those, you know, higher in caloric value, really not good for our hormones. They're gonna spike our blood sugar. Um, they're gonna cause us to weight, gain weight or hold on to any weight that we have and uh, really just have absolutely no benefit. So if we're making this a temporary thing, not a lifestyle thing, although lifestyle is huge and that's, you know, my overall goal is to help you guys just eat cleaner in general, but if we're going for a quick, hard, fast goal of slimming down for spring break, cutting out anything in a package is going to be incredible for your metabolism, for your weight loss, for your slim down, and for like just to toning up, which isn't a real thing, by the way. Um, but when we cut out sugar and cut out a ton of like salty processed foods and um, saturated fats, our, uh, we're gonna look a lot more toned, if that makes any sense at all. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. Uh, I can totally clear that up for you. But those packaged foods, they're gonna be, like I said, full of salt, full of sugar, full of those fats that are really gonna make us look bloated and um, help us hold on to any weight and water weight that we've got going on. So cutting out packaged foods and substituting fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables is in, oh my God, you're gonna, you're gonna feel amazing, honestly. So go to the produce section. Um, cucumbers, carrot sticks, those mini bell peppers, fantastic crunchy items to substitute for anything salty. And then for your sweet tooth, apples, bananas, oranges um, are gonna be awesome. And yeah, that might not sound like really that great right now, but um, just in terms of like getting ready for spring break, that's what you need to do. Cut out the packaged foods, substitute everything for fruits and vegetables, um, you really are gonna feel amazing, <laughs> like really. Uh, although that might not be sustainable and we can totally figure out how to make that sustainable though in the long run, which that's what I'm here for. So you let me know your questions about that. Okay, the last thing that you need to do, and this really should be like lifelong, is double your water intake. And this is for so many reasons. People think like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to drink my water. It really is way more than that. So our bodies um, signal for hunger and thirst are the same. So a lot of times if we're not drinking water or liquids throughout the day, we're mistaking our, um, we're mistaking thirst for hunger. I hope I said that the right way. <laughs> but our body is making its thirst signal and we're thinking that we're hungry. So that rumbling in our stomach, that can be thirst too. And I've seen so many clients say, well, you know, I'm hungry all the time and I've just eaten, but I'm hungry again. 
a lot of times that's because they're not drinking water and their body's like, we need, no, we need water. And you feed yourself and then it's like, no, we need water. <laughs> and you really, you just feel hungry. And so you're eating when you're not actually hungry. So drinking water throughout the day and literally for the spring break slim down purposes, doubling your water intake, whatever it is now, you need to double it. Some of you might need to triple it. <laughs> um, really upping that water intake is gonna help to flush you out. You cannot burn fat. The other half of this, the other maybe quarter of it, there's so many pieces with the water. So we're eating when we're not hungry. If we're drinking water, we're gonna make sure to eliminate that. The other, another part of this is that um, we cannot burn fat if we're not properly hydrated. So um, there's a whole cycle where our body starts using its own fat stores for fuel. And the only way to kick into that cycle is if we're like super properly hydrated. So let's say you're dieting, um, you know, you're cutting back on your caloric intake, you've cut out those packaged foods, you're doing your fasted cardio in the morning, but you're not drinking water, your body is not going to be able to burn any of its own fat. And it's just gonna be burning through its lean muscle tissue, which is what you want to keep because that's what burns calories. So drinking plenty of water, cutting out, you know, making sure you're not eating when you're not hungry because your body is just telling you that it's thirsty and so that you're kicking into that fat burning cycle the way that you're supposed to is so important. So carrying a water bottle with you wherever you go that is a really good reminder. Um, just making sure you drain as many water bottles as possible each day is a great way to make sure that you're um, getting plenty of water. But really, if your mouth is dry, you're beyond dehydrated, you waited too long. <laughs> so you need to have a water bottle with you at all times. The first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is drink, should be drink water. You um, ex fire about two liters of water a night. That's insane. That's so much water. But yeah, it's, it's, it comes out of your pores. You breathe it, you exhale it out. Um, so we're just constantly losing water. So we really need to be replenishing it um, at all times. Carry a water bottle with you. Make sure that you're um, staying properly hydrated. So fasted cardio, 10 to 20 minutes in the morning before getting your heart rate up before you've done anything else, um, before you've eaten anything, especially. Well, only. <laughs> the wine is like going to my head already. Um, cutting out everything in a package and exchanging it for a fresh fruit or vegetable might be a little bit more difficult. So, um, you know, be gentle with yourself, go gradually if you need to, but really cutting it back or completely out those packaged foods is going to be incredible. And then doubling or tripling your water intake, making sure you've got plenty of water so you're not mistaking thirst for hunger and so that you're allowing your body to get into that fat burning mode is what you want. That's spring break slim down 101. You are going to kill it if you follow those tips. Um, so what I want you to do, because I'm going to send out an email about this next week, I'm going to have a recipe, I'm going to have more tips in the email is go to my website, basically at meals.com and you scroll all the way to the bottom and enter your email address. And I will be sure to give you that um, email with the recipe and all of the extra tips in there. So go do that. And secondly, you need to go to my Instagram page if you haven't already followed it. It's basically underscore it underscore on Instagram. And I'm telling you to do that because I do in my stories there a ton of content, a ton of like videos like this where I'm just talking into the camera, telling you my tips and tricks, what I'm doing today. I did fasted cardio today. I talked about it in um, that, that video this morning. Um, I make smoothies, on, I make tons of recipes in there. So it's just a ton of extra bonus content for you to keep track of. Um, so email on basically at meals.com and Instagram basically underscore it underscore. And now to the most important part of this evening's <laughs> Facebook live is the wine. So we actually officially 
Wine About It now has a wine sponsor. Her name is Sarah Savinson. She is an awesome person. I love her to death. Um, we've worked together on other occasions and she called me up and was like, I want to be a part of Wine About It. And I was like, you, oh my God, you're making my life. So, um, she is our official wine sponsor. You can find her page at Sarah Drinks Wine. And I'm just going to double check that that is the correct. Yes. So on Facebook at Sarah Drinks Wine, you can connect with her there. Um, she does a ton of content as well, but she just loves working with people who love to drink wine and who don't want to sacrifice their health um, or the next morning because they like to drink wine. So all the wines that she works with are really clean. They don't have added sugar and they don't have added preservatives that actually are what cause hangovers the next morning. So, um, she is fantastic. She's going to be with me every wine about it from here on out. So you're going to learn tons more about her, but definitely go to her page, Sarah drinks wine and connect with her there. Um, and if you're interested in what I'm drinking this evening, if you can see it, there it is. Inizzi is what it's called. This is a rosé, which as soon as I saw rosé, um, I was like, that's what I'm drinking tonight. I love rosé, especially like, this is the first actually semi-warm day. Um, <laughs> I walked outside without shoes on today. And I was like, oh my God, it's spring. So this is um, the Anitsi rosé. It is so good. It's like strawberry, watermelony, a um, little bit of citrus for me. I don't like anything sweet and they don't do any added sugar wines. Sarah has no added sugar wines. So this is um, just the perfect like tart fruitiness. It's incredible, you guys. You have to go <laughs> check out her page, Sarah Drinks Wine, and ask her about this wine because I literally I did not plan to drink wine tonight and I like can't stop. It's so delicious. So thank you so much, Sarah. I am so excited to have you be a part of this. And thank you all. I hope you have an amazing spring break. Um, send me pictures because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here probably drinking, <laughs> drinking Sarah's wine and pretending like I'm on the beach. Um, but I will see you all next week for sure. Next week will be on a Thursday. So I'll see you next Thursday at 5.30 on the Facebook page at Basically at Meals. If you have any questions, please comment under this video and let me know. And I will see you soon. Bye.